Hello everyone, and welcome to a Factorio demonstration where I'm going to show you how to use just these three blueprints, one, two, and three, to have smart trains refuel only when they need fuel. Okay, so let's go through this. So you place one blueprint, the next blueprint, the next blueprint, and you make a few modifications based off of your system and you're done. Okay, and I'll show it in action once here. So if I could just find a train that's going to stop here. Let's just go to this one. Okay, you can see right now that it has 26 fuel. Let's just, uh, let's bring that down to one. Okay, and then it has fuel in here. Okay, and then it's going to do whatever it does at its train stop, right? And then it's going to come back to one of its other train stops okay. and I've just set up a basic rail system here because I didn't want to spend too much time actually setting it up so here and then you can see it's sending a signal T300 uh, and A1 to the network uh, that's what you what you want uh, because it's out of fuel now so you see there's no fuel in the wood compartment and now it's gonna go refuel at the fueling block here until it hits 50 fuel, then it's going to leave. And it's going to maintain going to its system. And you can see now, Smart Refueler Block is disabled. And it's going to continue on between these two stops. Just as it continues to go. So, I'll just let it loop around once so you can see it working in action. See that it's not going to go up here. It's going to go loop back around and it's going to keep going. Okay, and it's not going to send the signal this time. And you're good to go. So, now that you know it works, I shall come down here and show you uh, the parts of it. So, you have this part. This decider combinator here is where you choose your fuel. Uh, you also have to set your fuel in the cargo wagon. So, if I place a cargo wagon down here, if this is set to solid fuel... So you just set that to solid fuel. You can set the filter by middle clicking. Okay, so you can only have solid fuel in the spot. You also have to have uh, filter inserters here. So if I show you here, I'd have to have filter inserters and then this one would be whatever I'm loading. So iron, right? And then this one could be uh, whatever my fuel is. So solid fuel, right? And this inserter would go... So these three... these uh ones would go up like that and then you could do a full one like that on this side so i don't have enough filter inserters but just all down here right set the iron uh then this one you just use whatever inserter you desire to put it into the locomotive okay then you connect uh then you connect this system this blueprint up to your circuit network then you connect that to this decider and then that connects to this and then you're basically set um, I believe that's it. So I'm going to show you that in action here. So here's my first blueprint. So this is the one that you're placing at all your reading stations. So any station that you have that you want your train to read for fuel at, right? So any with the, uh, the filter inserters, uh, filtering out the, uh, solid fuel. Okay. And let me just uh, do this real quick, and then I will come over here and grab this cargo wagon because I need it. So grab the cargo wagon, and uh, place the locomotive first. That'll help you place the cargo wagon, sir. There we go. Uh, so here, I'm going to be using wood as my fuel because that's what I should have on me, but I don't. So let's see if I can just pick some wood up somewhere around here. I can't. There we go. There's some wood. So let's just pick up that wood. My bots do that for me. Dude, what would I do without bots? Good. I did not have 180 fuel on me before, I swear. So I must have had it there and just been blind and not seen it. Okay, so let's just, uh, let's put... Okay, let's not do a chest because that might confuse. Uh... So you set your wood filter there, and then this is going to read for a train and if it's at zero fuel. So I have to add this stop to it. So this is a train stop Napier. So let's just add Napier to the schedule here. Yep. 
you can name this whatever. I'm just naming it Napier. And then I'll just set it time pass because I don't actually want to set anything to this. I'll just say go to Napier. Right? So this is now automatically going to to Napier, they have to be on automatic, they can't be on manual for this to work, otherwise it won't read the train's contents. Uh, other than that, it has to be stopped at the stop, you know, just typical stuff that you would expect. And then you can see that it's outputting a signal here, okay? So then you take your red wire, and you hook it up to your red network, and you can see that it's going to add the signal here. But before I do that, let's just uh, disable this for a second here. You can see that it already has a signal 2 on it. That's another signal in this network. It's you. I'm using it personally to define which network it is. So this is my second network and my network up here. Ooh, my train network is network 1, right? So I've just used it to, to show you which network I'm currently on, currently working with, if I decide to work on the other network. So you connect this to network 2. Uh, but it could be whatever network you have. There might not even be a signal there yet. Okay, so all that matters is that you have T and A, okay? If you have T and A, you're doing good, okay? So then you go wherever, and you have to make sure that you're connected in red wire to wherever you're going. Otherwise, the signal won't carry through. So next up, you set up your uh, smart train refueler one per set of smart computers, okay? And you can disconnect to that from the electrical network if you desire, uh, and you connect the red wire to it Okay, so now you can see that this is this here is connected to still not to network 2 and it's got T and A passing through it Well T and A are going through this and T is going to be outputted Okay, then you take that over to your You take that over to your train stops, so this is your last blueprint Sorry, wrong blueprint book. There we go. Sorry, my mouse is screwed up right now. So you take that to here, and you can have however many train stops you desire. For here, I'm just going to use two. Okay, and I'm going to name this test smart one. Okay, and then I'm just going to name this one test smart two. Okay, so this is test smart two. This is test smart one, right? So. Last thing you do is you connect this up to this right here. And you're done, basically. Last thing you have to do is you have to check the tra train ID. So you can see here in the info of the train that it's got 327 as an ID. Okay. Train ID 327. Okay. So you have to go over here to where you connected it to. And you have to input the train ID into here. 327. Okay, it can be in any of these three, but only one of these three, okay? It can't be in any of these, it has to be in one of these three on the input side. And then in, on this right, uh, right box here, top right box, you input the train's ID, okay? And then zero means no train. You can add more trains to this network, and I'll just add this here. And remove these combinators as well if I uh, decide to keep them. Those are there to show you where the input is. So you remove combinators in, from these blueprints. Uh, so after that, you're basically done. So you don't change anything here unless you have another train. So if you have another train and you set up another one of these and it had an ID of 340, then you would put 340 into this. You can... I'll get more into it in the, at the end of the video, but you can put, like, if I did have another train here, I could put 340 here, but if you don't know what you're doing, you might expect a few problems to arise from this, so just don't do it unless you watch the end of the video, uh, which will explain what the consequences of doing so are and some possible workarounds to the consequences. <coughs> Anyways continue on here so once you're done this this should all continue to the circuit and this train stop is currently activated so train stop test smart one okay train stop test smart one smart and time pass whatever it's never going to go there so 
why oh zero seconds passed i meant for that to be a lot of seconds so that it wouldn't uh so that it would stay activated here so you can see now that in this train that it says test smart now i'm going to uh i'm going to reset this system here so hold on for one moment so i'm just gonna wipe the system of its memory hold on let me uh deactivate it first so here no signal right now according to this system there is no train stopped okay just know that doesn't matter much so now this is an empty system there's nothing in it except for the train id and when the train arrives so this is going to simulate a train arriving it's going to add it and now this train stops there so let me do that one more time okay reset the system Right, so with nothing at the system, this train stop's going to be ready. Okay? Now, if I add the train to the, to the waiting list, you can see that it has started the network up, and it works. Okay? This is the best way I can show you when I don't actually have a rail network set up for this. So now for the, uh, for the advanced stuff. So I already showed you about the filter inserters. Uh... That's uh, one of the only unfortunate side effects of this. So you have that, and you also have to sacrifice a slot in here for it. But aside from that, it is there is no downfalls to this system. All your trains will go to a refueling block to refuel. Each train has to have its own train stop. Okay. So, train with the ID of 297 stops here, train with the ID of 294 stops there, and train with the ID of 300 stops there. And they don't mix. Okay? I'm going to get into now what happens if you do want to mix them. Okay, so this is the advanced portion of the video. If you don't plan on mixing them, you don't have to watch this because I'm going to explain some of the more uh, logic-heavy sides of this. So, if you're really not into that sort of thing and you're just into uh, to connecting up the wires like I showed you down there... Uh, and having it work, then you can leave now. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoy the blueprints. They should be in the description. So here's for what happens if you want to load multiple trains on the same thing. So 297, I'm going to move you over to the top one here. Set to the top one, 297. Right? So now I have train stop 294 and 297 on this input side here right so remember you're only ever using these three combinators you can i can add more if you want to or you can add more if you want to it's not too hard if you have any combinator knowledge you should be able to do it if you don't then i then uh look up a tutorial on it um and you should be able to do it uh because all this is is just through wires connected at input wires connected at output you don't have to worry about it after that. You're not messing up anything by adding another one here. Um, so, you have your train arrive. Okay. You have two on the network. Sorry. You have two on the network. And you have to go find your train with 297 now. So, oh, that's this one up here. So, this is the train with the ID of 297. I'm going to change it to block one. And item count wood equals 50. So that's a, that's the circuit conditions on this. Okay. So the problem with this is I shall show you in a second here. So is this 297? Yeah. So if this is 297, I, I'll, I'm going to take out the wood so that it knows to go to block one next time it stops here. I'm also going to set it so that it doesn't leave the refueling station to simulate what the problem would be there are workaround well there's one workaround to one of the problems the other problem you just kind of have to deal with it's not guaranteed to happen and it doesn't have a huge consequence and you'll see what i mean in a moment uh so now it's activated the smart fueler block so it's going to go there next and remember i had another train i believe it was id 294 arriving at that same stop if it was out of fuel this is out of fuel so it's going to go there and it's refueling right 
Except it's not actually gonna go because I said it's uh I said this to be impossible because it's never gonna actually fill up beyond 50. So now, in just a moment, you should see the problem arise. Well, what happened? This train, it's got fuel in it. Why is it over here? Well, that's because it activates the stop. And if this is going, if this smart fueler block is next in its route, then it's going to go to the smart fueler block because the smart fueler block is activated. This doesn't happen when you keep them on separate signals. So see how this one's set at 1-1, this one's set at 1-2, and this one's at 1-3, right? Then that way you can keep them separate and they will only go when they are called. But if you want to put multiple of them on the same train stop here, then you have a chance of them coming when they don't need fuel. And on top of that, if this train, if the train that requested the fuel arrives first, then let me uh, get in here. If it arrives first, that means it's going to refuel first, right? Which means let's uh, set this to be possible again. So sorry, I screwed up there. So set, set this to 50. Set. It's going to start moving. Okay. And then this train, it's not going to dock, right? It's going to get there. It's going to leave. That's because the train stop was deactivated when that train gets there. That doesn't mean that... So there's a partial fix to that that I have. Uh, well, the one that you can implement is you can have a waiting station. So you see how I had the train waiting here, right? It wasn't, uh, it wasn't obstructing the flow of traffic, right? So you would just have a docking spot for trains to dock so that they don't obstruct the flow of traffic. Uh, the second fix is that the train that requests is the only train that can deactivate it. So if if train 297 requested, yeah, so if train 297 requested and 294 gets here first, then 294 will refuel and then 297 will refuel, then it'll get deactivated. So it's only the train that activated the stop in the first place that can deactivate it. So you have a chance of it refueling the train that went there, even though it didn't request anyways, which is a good thing because if you can get two trains going to refuel at the same time and they both refuel instead of only one of them refueling, then you've done better, right? You can also have it so that uh, any trains that line up in queue here also, uh, also stop. So yeah, this is my this is my first smart fueling block and I decided to share it because I couldn't find any online when I was searching. So I had to make my own. Anyways, guys, uh, that's it for this video. And thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or problems that you have with this train system, uh, please tell me. And uh, yeah, let me know about it. Thank you for watching. See you later.